Guys, wait. There's something going on in the school. It's CMTV time. We gotta go. Bonjour. This is the CMTV. We gotta go. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> what am I there? No, it's. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of CMTV. I'm Izzy, and with me is Megan. Megan, where is she? Boo! Okay. Meg, what are you doing? Um, it's Halloween, duh. Wow, already? Oh! Do you know what's harder to pick? What? A Halloween costume. True. I changed mine three times this year. I'm curious to see what everyone else is being. Alright. Hi, I'm Rich Penny with CMTV, and today I'm here with... Joe Goncalves. Okay, Joe, what are you being for Halloween? I'm being Miguel Diaz from Cobra Kai. I mean, I do look like him. Nice. Hi, I'm Emma Carroll with CMTV, and today I'm here with... Rocco. Hi Rocco, what are you going to be for Halloween this year? I think I'm going to be Aaron Judge because I look exactly like him. Nice. Dante with CMTV and I'm here with Mr. Del Giorno. What's your favorite? Uh, what are you being for Halloween? I'm going, I'm thinking about being Frankenstein. I just watched The Monsters, new reboot. I give it five stars. So I was thinking about being Frankenstein. Are you going to do the Monster Mash? Mm, probably not. All right. Wow, those are some great costumes. Yes, they are. If anyone's looking for some fall things to do, Izzy and I went to Water Drinker this weekend. Here's what we did. Hey guys, it's Megan and Izzy. Welcome to our day at Water Drinker. So the first thing that we did was visit all the animals that they have there. We saw a tortoise, a peacock, and Megan made friends with an emu. Water drinker, they have a bunch of fall things to do, like the hay ride, you can go through the corn maze, or you can even find your perfect pumpkin. They also have a really cool gift shop where you can buy all types of baked goods and fall decorations. And here's me becoming an all-state golfer. And here's me bringing back my child on my hippity hop. Now that we're in the fall spirit, it's playoff time for our fall sports. We interviewed some of our athletes to see how their teams are doing this year. Hi, I'm Dante with CMTV, and I'm here with... Noel Jordan. What are you expecting for in playoffs? Um, well, for counties, I'm hoping for either a first or second place in my best event. Um, and then after that, there's states. Really excited for... It's in November. I'm hoping for a best time. You know, maybe I'll be committed by then. So I'm excited. Yeah. Great answer. Hi. Hi, I'm Chloe with TMTV. I'm here with Jess. What do we expect for playoff? Um, well, we might not have a playoff game. We might just be going to the counties, but expecting to win all of it. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm Tyler with CMTV, and I'm with. And what do you expect from playoffs? I expect us to win and go to states. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tyler with CMTV and I'm with Liam McDermott. So what do you expect for playoffs? Um, after today's win, we'll be versing Southampton on the stadium next week. And then after that, county final will be at Diamond in the Pines next Saturday. Thank you. Hi, I'm Chloe with CMTV. I'm here with Megan. What do you expect for playoffs? Um, hopefully a big win. Okay, thank you. I'm Tyler with CMTV, and I'm with Chris Morbisano. What do you expect in playoffs? I'm expecting a, I'm, I'm expecting to break 20 minutes at Sunken Meadow. Good luck to all of our fall sports in the playoffs. I hear the boys and girls cross country team are trying to qualify for states for the second year in a row. Good luck to both. Switching gears a little bit, Leah and Morgan are holding a collection for the Start Resource Center. The Start team helps justice-involved individuals re-enter into society with the basic necessities. They collect food, toilet sheets, blankets, shoes, and etc. to create dignity bags for anyone that's transitioning back into society. Please bring any of these items into the high school main office by February 17th. To end off this episode of CMTV, we encourage all students to actively participate in the extracurricular activities here at school. Here's a couple of clubs we have to offer here at Center Merchants. 
Hey, I'm Dante with CMTV, and I'm here with B. What do you do in fishing club? So, we go fishing. We also have a trip coming up next week. Um... Nice. Great interview. Thank you. Hello, I'm here with... Mr. Scott, supervisor of the Weight Room Club. Speaking of the Weight Room Club, um, what is it about? It's all about learning about what's in the weight room, trying to stay healthy and learn about lifelong activities. So working out, eating healthy, uh, staying in shape, bettering yourself. Uh, when do you guys hold meetings? We meet Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 2 to 2.30 and then Wednesday is 2 to 3. And uh, last question, do you think it's successful? I absolutely do. A lot of kids show up on a regular basis and then throughout the year because of sports and seasons, we have higher and lower numbers. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Andrew DiMaggio with CMTV, and I'm here with Nick, club officer of the Chem Club. Nick, tell me some of your favorite things about running this Chem Club. We do multiple experiments. Uh, last year, we made balls. Uh, we made some slime. And this year, we're hoping to make tie-dye shirts uh, using chromatography. And yeah. Sounds like a ton of fun, Nick. And why do you think people should join? Don't you think it'll interfere with their schedules? Uh, I think people should join because it's just really fun in general and you get you just get to do a bunch of experiments. I mean, who doesn't want to do that? And what about hanging out with Miss Romaine? Uh, it's very fun, very fun. You heard it here, folks. You should probably join this year. And that's the end of this episode of CMTV. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at Centermishes TV and subscribe to us on YouTube at Centermishes TV as well. And TikTok. <laughs> And follow our new TikTok at Center Merchants TV. And remember, we're one show closer to Friday.